Today's lesson is going to be on how to uh, download maps from the National Geographic Topo software to the GPS. So what we've got set up here is the, uh, the GPS unit with the USB cable connected to the back and got my uh, computer set up with the Topo software installed on it. This is the uh, free demo software version that came with the GPS, but if you're using the uh, uh, Topo State Series or one of the other uh, Topo software uh, from National Geographic, it'll be the same process. If you're using the demo version, uh, it included a, a small section of uh, topographic uh, map in Yosemite National Park that you can uh, practice with, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. So we'll go ahead and zoom in on the uh, Yosemite area on the map using the zoom tool. And when we zoom in enough where we can see the uh, map area that's included, we are going to uh, actually zoom out one level. We're going to put a box around it using the uh, GPS data exchange tool. So we'll go ahead and hit this icon up at the top here it'll bring up the menu on the right side of the screen. And to uh, shrink this big uh, red box it comes up down to the right side. So I'll move the cursor up to the corner and drag the box down to a smaller size and then uh, drag the whole box over to the area of the map we want to download. So once that's done we're going to go ahead and zoom in the map to level 5. That's very important. We have to be at level 5 on the map uh, when we're getting ready to put it on the GPS. So the computer is all set up. Now we're going to take the USB cable and plug it into the computer. And when we do that, this menu will come up on the GPS. We're going to highlight connect to PC and hit enter. That will bring up this screen here. It says waiting to connect. That's a little confusing because it makes you think that it's uh, still waiting to connect and that it needs to say connected before you move on, but that's not the case. It actually just says waiting to connect until you actually start to transfer data. So that's all ready to go. So now we'll go back over to the computer screen and on the bottom right side we'll uh, hit the export now button. If checked the box that says maps named topo which was the map we just outlined and we'll hit export now. Now I've already put the uh, map on the GPS to save a little time here. Um, if I hadn't it would bring up a uh, dialog box asking if we're ready to begin the download and we'll hit yes and it would download the map. But since it's already on there I'll just go ahead hit no and uh, I'll show you what the next step would be when it uh, finishes the uh, map transfer. Once it's done, um, you can go ahead and hit escape on the GPS to uh, exit that computer connection screen. And now we'll go ahead and activate the map on the GPS and I'll show you how to view it. So once we get back to the uh, main menu on the GPS, we're going to go down to uh, view and hit maps and we'll go down to topo. Now if uh, you had just installed this uh, map on the GPS it would look like that and to activate it you're just going to hit the uh, enter button to bring up the green check mark next to the map and then hit OK. Now to actually uh, view the map, we'll uh, have to uh, pan the, the map over to the Yosemite area. And we're going to zoom in to the uh, one mile scale in order to uh, see the map. It won't show up at the uh, larger scales. And there it is. So uh, you can scroll the map around um, to view the uh, the detail and uh, 
zoom into a closer level. And if we've created any uh, waypoints or routes on the uh, the computer using the top of the software, once we load the map to it, they'll show up here as well. So that in a nutshell is how you download maps from the National Geographic Topo software to the Magellan Triton GPS. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.